Hi, from the book part. Um, I wanted to tell you about an author that I've just been devouring the last uh, week. She writes paranormal romance on the steamy side, and her name is Dana Marie Bell. So I met Dana Marie Bell briefly at the Romantic Times Book Convention in Chicago, and I bought two books. I bought Dare to Believe, which is the first book in her Grey Court series, and the second novel is Noble Blood. So I read this last week, and I loved it. Um, it has Leo Dunn, and he is part fairy and part leprechaun. And he runs a um, event business, and his mate, he's found that his mate works there as well. And she's been hiding from him because she doesn't think he, she's in the same realm as him, and she has no idea of the paranormal anyway. So there's that challenge. Uh, anyway, he um, hosts a party for his employees and Ruby comes and it's a costume party and her best friend Double Dog dared her to wear a little a little devil costume. So she's all dressed up and her friends is a little angel and, and they go and Leo, because he was working with the friend, he was dressed up as, as Satan, I believe. Um, so they were dancing together and there's the attraction and the fun. So there's definitely steam, but it's not just sex. There's heart and love and commitment and passion and there's a mystery. There's um, a different uh, fae family wants Leo to marry them to build strengthen bonds or something. Um, <laughs> there's intrigue with that and of course he, he's mated to Ruby. He loves Ruby so he's not going to marry their daughter of that fae family and then they try to come after them so it was really really fun and I read that and then I had to read the next one which was Noble Blood and I got these autographed at RT so um, Dana Marie Bell says enjoy the dance on the inside where she signed it it's all mine um, so this is Grey Court book 2 and this one is um, with the sister of Leo, her name's Moira, if that's how you say it. I'm not Irish, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so there's um, Duncan Malmain, and he is um, the fae leader of his his family. So he's he's pretty powerful. He's a lord, Lord Malmain, and his um, best friend is a vampire they've blood bonded, they've been friends for over a hundred years, and his best friend um, thought that his mate was Moira, which Duncan didn't know. Duncan goes to um, a wedding, and he meets Moira, and he knows that she's his mate, so he spirits her away, and they leave Duncan, and Duncan ends up, yeah. There needs to be the three of them, so it's a tri-bond. Um, so this one, yeah, very steamy, uh, has a, how do you say it, menage, but it's not just sex. There's passion and commitment and romance and caring and drama and intrigue with the um, family from the other novel who wanted um, Leo to marry into their family. <sighs> They're still after, yeah, so there's there's some um, threats against their life and challenges they have to deal with. And I was swept into this world. I loved her world building. I loved her characters and the dialogue. And then I had to go find the third book. And the third book isn't in print yet, which, as I've said before, I much prefer print books, but it's not available in print, so I had to buy it in ebook. So the third book is called Artistic Vision, and the heroine is a dragoness. And um, it's amazing. So she's a dragoness, and the hero is the brother of Leo and Moira from the first two. And he um, is 
yeah so this one is the <sighs> continues with the drama of that um, Malmain family that's trying to to hurt them and break up their family and the dragoness um, and she doesn't want a mate she doesn't want a partner <sighs> so Shane he's uh, his dad is a leprechaun his mom is Faye and he's a powerful blend of the both um, so very very strong magic he can dream something into being if it's of the earth so he's an artist and he does sculptures with stone and glass and jewels um, incredible sculptures and he has other abilities that I don't want to spoil um, yeah fey magical abilities so uh, so these were these were really yummy and so I read um, those all last week and then I had to order her um, shapeshifter series and I got those in print just yesterday so I will be reading those and I'll have to tell you what I think but I have not been disappointed in Dana Marie Bell's writing. It's steamy, so if you like that, definitely check her out, but it has a lot of heart, which is what I need with my steamy. <laughs>